Hello there and welcome to Sports Vision on WTMB as we broadcast from a barn as you hear all the doors so open. So polite, so polite. Joe Palo along with Mike <laughs> Cragen, Bear Cragen, and uh, we hope you're having yourself a good day today on this Thursday. And if it's Friday, hope it's a good Friday or Saturday, Sunday, hope it's a good weekend for you. And we're still right in the middle of the wrestling and basketball action. Both of those sports in the midseason now getting ready to wind down to when it really counts. All the regionals are coming up and all the other stuff, all the... Uh, Duels and the state stuff and everything coming up. So we got a lot of that for you. The, the, we got a preliminary match between Saudi and Bradley, which was a big match between one and two last and weekend. Two. Or last uh, Thursday night. We're going to go ahead and show you some highlights of that. They will meet again, I'm sure. And, oh, uh, yeah. We are hoping on the Bradley side it will come out to a different uh, different outcome next it time. Was, it was pretty close. Your prediction was pretty was close very, to the very score. Close. Yeah, but I told you what it would be. About five points right. that way, and that's what it turned out. But there's ways to turn it around. We'll discuss that at another date. But we got to go. Let's start with Bradley versus Saudi to start out the match right here. This uh, It was uh, drawn at uh, heavyweight, which Bradley lost, and now we're at 215. I mean, we're at 215, which Bradley lost. Now we're at heavyweight, excuse me. And it's going to roll around then from, to 103 from there. And this is John Sibley right here. He's going to get a stick for Bradley to – the light of Bradley crowd. Now they're going to tie it up at six. So we got a good match working right here. This is uh, number one ranked uh, Hunter Randolph at 103. He's going to get a technical fall right here on his Saudi opponent to put Bradley up 11 to six. But there's a nice lift takedown right there for two for Randolph. And I think we're going to see several of the patented Randolph cradles coming up and so forth. There's a nice single leg. Going to reach over and get the other leg, drive him to the mat right there, score two more. And here's one of the cradles right here. Is uh, He's pretty tough with that right there. Scores a lot of points. Whips most of his men that way. But this is Hunter Randolph, number one rank for Bradley Central. Now uh, putting Bradley in the lead at this point as this is the third match of the night as they started at 2.15 as I mentioned. So he's going to get a technical fall. And this is number one versus number two. A little strategy went on later in the match that really affected the outcome that uh, that Bradley thinks they can turn that around. But right here at 103 again, just showing Randolph, he uh, ended up getting a technical fall, which means he scored a lot of points, which means he gets a lot of airtime. There you go. So uh, here's three more. And rightfully so. That's right. Here's three more. There's a referee right there, Kenny Mara, one of the top referees in the state. They want to put the good ones in on the match right here. Now this is a 112. This is Andrew Collins. He's got a takedown here and led this match three to nothing and ended up losing the match, which was a uh, Key for Bradley, three penalty points he lost it, and then tie, I mean to tie it up, and he lost it overtime. So right here is David Mang, who, by the way, last night wrestling East Ridge beat Kristen Rudis, who's one of the top dogs in the state at 119. Right here he's whipping the Saudi guy pretty good, and Mang's going to end up, I believe, with a major decision. So uh, not, get, not getting some pins right here for the extra bonus points. You know, one, two, three points. It only takes three matches right there, and you, you uh, overcome that five-point deficit also so lots of room for Bradley to, to turn this around and I believe I honestly believe in the state duels with some of the things they can do if they're, with their lineup they'll go ahead and end up uh, avenging this and winning the state that's just my early opinion we'll see if it comes out it's three weeks away and we'll let you know as Mang stacks his opponent turns him there for some back points and he he scored uh, several points as I said too David Mang again last night against East Ridge their top dog he ended up uh, seven to one over Kristen Rudis before Rudis uh, got a couple late takedowns to make it 8-5 score. So it was a good good week here for David Mang. Starting last Thursday night at Saudi. And you can see we're on the visitor's uh, mat there. A lot of Saudi people there. They were pumped up. You'll see more of that as the match goes on where they feel like they're doing better. This is Andy Morris right here taking on the uh, number one guy in the state at 125. This is Mikey Fuller. And, uh, Andy, no, he'll eat anything. That's Mikey, right. Let Mikey eat let it. Mikey eats anything. And Andy gets two right there. But Fuller, uh, a little too much for Andy. To handle as we move on to the uh, 130 pound match and this right here is, no we're moving all the way to the 135 right here's 130 Bradley uh, Caleb Talent lost that was 135 Timmy Harris leading the entire way and lost that match at the very end so there's another one that Bradley can improve on this is Justin Spain is going to get a major decision right here on uh, Eric Turner of Saudi hey, Daisy good move so right here, though, we, uh, we also feel like we can get a pin. So I don't think Bradley was at their best side. He wrestled very well. So there's some places to turn that around, as I mentioned. But this is a little preliminary action, and we'll have this action for you, too, on Sports Vision in a few weeks because we're going to the state duels. We're going to cover it very thoroughly for you. Here's a Richard Melvin in the background. Yeah. But Justin Spain, pretty powerful, second-ranked right now at 152. Lost a, uh, a one-point decision to Brandon Wright of Houston at the Bradley Invitational, and that's uh, number one is Brandon Wright, and he's number two. So... 
Justin's going to be right in the hunt this year for a state title. Finalist last year and hoping to go ahead and complete the complete the victory and get it all this year. Uh, this is still Justin Spain. Now they bumped a guy in for Travis Craig at 160. The next time this is Matt Watson. Saudi's 160 is not all uh, as good as the 171. 171 for Saudi's ranked number one in the state. So Matt Watson, we put him in to wrestle the 160 pounder right here. And Matt Watson's doing what he needed to do. Bradley had a three-part strategy. They need to win this one with uh, our backup 160, which he did a good job, and I, he won, I think, 10 to nothing, so pretty easily. We're moving Travis Craig and up to wrestle the number one ranked at 171, Roberson, and Saudi bumped away from Travis, as you'll see in a little bit, and went to Josh Heffington, and Heffington, as far as Bradley was hoping, would go ahead and go up, go up and beat the 189-pounder, so if you know wrestling, you're not confused. If you're confused, you're just trying to get the matchups they want. Just hang in there. Hang in it'll there. all fold it'll out here It'll fall minute. together. But this is 160 again. This is Matt Watson beating Saudi's 160. And uh, Matt again is going to get another takedown. So pretty well handled his man right there. And again, we, we, then Travis had to get a forfeit, moved him up. And they gave him a forfeit purposely. They didn't send anybody out on the mat. Took their guy that Travis was trying to match up with. Moved him up to Josh Heffington and Josh Which Heffington. was a very smart move for them to, to, to win kind the of match. play. Yeah. And Heffington lost a, uh, a decision, so it ended up being Saudi's match. So right there, it was a... And Heffington's a good wrestler. He is a good wrestler. So that was, I mean, that was going to be a big match. That was going to be a tough, tight match. Um, Bradley feels they might, they, they might have been able to snick it out if they could have got the matchups. Heffington was definitely going to beat the 189 on up, but they, they forfeited and let, let they, those two wrestle, quote, 189, even though they were two 171s. So anyhow, a lot of strategy in wrestling, and that's when it gets interesting. And we're going to have that next week, uh, or three weeks. We're going to have uh, probably, hopefully, if we don't... Uh, they didn't do what, they, what everybody expects both teams to do, but I think they're going to meet again in Clarksville in three weeks. And it's good to Bradley coming in like as the underdog. That's you know, right. You want to come in like underneath. Yeah. They're hungry. You know, and revenge. Got some surprises, so count on a win. It's coming. We're going to go to commercial. I'm going to suit up in a singlet. I'm wrestling for Bradley. That, that's the surprise. <laughs> what do you do when your cash is low and you need groceries? You've got a cash emergency. You've got a money mayday. What's your check into cash? What's check into cash? It's a remarkable place to get instant emergency cash for flat fee. We cash your personal check and then we hold it till your payday. Anytime you have an unexpected expense and need a payday advance, check into cash can make it happen. Check into cash. The next time you need quick cash for whatever reason, go to check into cash. You've got a money mayday. Shakes, hand scooped real ice cream shakes and malts. New at Hardy. Welcome back to Sports Vision on WTMB. As we go, we move from wrestling into basketball. We're going to talk about some things that made us mad, but one thing that really makes me mad. Is Mark? No, no, oh. no. I like Mark. The Hall of Fame. They just said the Hall of Fame that Bruce Seder was the only one who made it in. Dan yes, Marino, now, now, yes. listen, now listen, if Dan Marino was not in the Hall of Fame, yes. he's got the most yards of anybody ever passing the ball, football, right. period. You've got uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the most points, period, in the history of basketball. Talking about the Rose Man? I'm talking about P. Rose. How can the guy not? I don't give a crap what he did. In, in, you know, I mean, there were guys that did work. What, there yeah, were guys what he that, did in baseball is what he did in friends. baseball. Yeah, exactly. You I know mean, what I mean? The number one guy in the history of baseball. I agree. Ever swung a bat. I agree. Oh, well. Move on. And, and what it is is they base it on, uh, you know, and it's not so much character. I mean, it is character, but it's not so much character. What he did was... Do you, realize, do you realize those old white rednecks that are in there, like Ty Cobb and stuff, were some of the worst people in the world that were way and worse than... bet on, you know... And, and did also, we're very racist, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and they're in. Exactly. So. You're right. I agree. Here we go. Charlie Hustle. JV. He will be in one day, hopefully. No. That was his last chance. That's it. This is 15th year. He's out. But they say that they, you know, because he wasn't officially... They've never done... The, well, that's... 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 You know, grasping for hopefully. straws. Hopefully. We've got to get all this in. All right, but if the, if the media, if the writers you know, vote him in, he'd vote in. Not he the liked, veterans. But he's still the best hitter. He is. Ball he ball. was. Uh, is, was. Here we go. We go Bradley, Red Bank. This is JV action as we start the tape. 16-13, uh, as you can see, we pick it up. Uh, this is from Buffalo, New York, as you can see. Bears, Ryan Knight, three-pointer, looking good. Off the inbound. Watch this. Nice shot. All right. This is uh, Brant. Donlin, and uh, I think that's uh, Bill's son. Knight, another slick J right there. And Bucket this time, you'll see Matt 
Ryzen Hula as he penetrates and to Hawkins. Watch the penetration. Up and in, good, looking, good. Ryzen Hula again on a turnaround. Right underneath, up and in. 36-22 Bradley Central after one half, as you can see. All right, third quarter action now. First blood for BC, Michael Payne. And look at the effort here by Hawkins. He misses, but oh, wow, my Ooh. goodness. Goes up for the uh, ball, and then, of course, play continues. It's good. It's Knight with the bucket. You know, you know how the ref is, bro. Yeah, they're still playing. Yeah, they're still on. finishing, and you know, then we'll get him up. I mean, but here he comes. He's, he's, he's a, okay. the trooper. He walks off the floor looking okay, looking good. Hawkins in. Bradley Central, very cold third quarter lead. His van is 43 42, as you can see. Red Bank fourth quarter night. Little old school running. A hook shot nets to Matt Perkins with a drive and two right there. Score is 46 all, as you can see by the scoreboard. Perkins now, another nice drive for two. And then guess what? He gets the two and the foul. And then he gets the conversion, he as they say. Oined it. That's right, the old-fashioned way. Perkins again, all by himself. Two more. I wanna be up and in. Pain. <laughs> that was the loose ball. That was bad. Loose ball and basket. One and one half minutes to go. Tip ball out. Off. Ah, look at this. Now watch this. Watch the now, see, Did that guy just? I mean, Let's see it again. they didn't kick him out. Let's that did it was give it a flagrant foul. Watch this. Watch. This guy's going to walk up to him here in a minute and just flat him. And this set the tone. That there's there's some things that went on in the boys' game too, especially afterwards. But uh, the guy comes over and shakes hands. Yeah, after I just oh, take yeah. my clean shot and knock Let's you down. It. There you go. Boom. I it's mean like this. I mean, what was that? I don't. That know. wasn't a foul. But uh, uh, it's not, not very good sportsmanship, with Red Bank. But. You can see it again, hopefully. Well, no, we won't show it again. We'll just show Hawkins can the free throw, and Bears will pull it away at the end, win 58-52, and then we move on to the girls' game. Now, there was none of that rough stuff going on in the girls' game. That's nah. good. Here we go. First quarter, first two by guess who? That rhymes, Jackie Pickle. And uh, Lasuela Person with a basket and foul, as you'll see right here. Good shot. Lasuela. Da, 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 da. Davis. Would stop, pop, and roll, and control. And there, here comes my girlfriend. Lauren Cassida hits uh, the boards for the putback. Up and in. Pickle, watch this. The steal, the breakaway, the foul. Right, the conversion coming up. And then in about 15 years, the autobiography, the book, will come out. Because there'll be a book written about it. Brett Barrett's uh, up after one, 14 to 11. As you can see, first blood, second quarter, it's Tiffany Johnson with a D. Nice. And hustle, nice shot. And then Davis calling for the ball. She will get it, and she will score. And then Johnson would assist to freshman Irvin. Haley Irvin, she's a good little freshman right here. Oh, yeah, she's good, all right. She gets it right in there. Two points right there for the Barrett's Pickle out in front drive. And you'll see to the hoop. Bucket here, coming up. By the way, I still, I still kind of slightly wish she was here instead of you. Oh, I don't blame you. I wish she was here instead of me, too. Uh, Ashley <laughs> Rayburn with Rayburn. the shot there. Three-point basket by Tiffany J. Right there, oh my goodness. And Pickle would escape the D and score two more. Watch this. Uh, Nobody around there. Just flashed him. All right, Rayburn. Right by him. From the baseline. Nice jumper, up and in, two. Looking good, Pickle with the leaner for two. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Barrett would be up 38-21 at the half, as you can see. Now, Coach Moffin is all excited. He's eating popcorn. <laughs> there he is. I love that guy. Yeah, he don't even know he's on camera he's now. The best popcorn Concentrating on that popcorn. Third quarter, first blood. It's JP. No, not Joe Palo. Jackie Pickle from three-point range. Swish. Lauren Cassidy, my girlfriend again. Easy two right there. Pickle on a breakaway, and look at this, and she takes it down, down, down. Up and in for two, off the inbound now. It's the Jackie Pickle Show from Pickle from the football ends off. <laughs> Goodness, Barrett's up 50-23. Pickle would penetrate once again and score right here. Look at this. And guess what? Gets fouled. Davis, watch Davis with the sweet touch right here. Just oh, right in there. 
And uh, there's the sky. Ah, he knows Popcorn where he is. There Popcorn's he is. gone, so hey. He's waving now. Yeah, uh, Ashley Raber, nice board here. You get two on a putback, up and in. There it's on a roll. Haley Irwin again rebounds and would score 64 33. Bradley Central after three. <sighs> what a ball game, huh, for Bradley Central? Now we move on. Fourth quarter action. Callie Eldridge drives and gets two more points. The Swayla Person for Bradley Central. Two more. Eric Clapton made a song about her. La Suela. All right. That's, yeah, I think you're right. Johnson would race to the hoop here and get two more. And then Pickle. Watch this easy drive by Jackie. Watch this. Taking it inside. Up and in. Good shot. Look at the three-point shot now from Lacey Bowles with a nice sweet touch. Oh. In. La Suela again. You got me on my knees, they say. Up and in. Again. Good. Doubled up. 80-40. With three to go. 255 to be exact. Lasuela off the missed free throw. You'll see right here, up and in. She gets the board. Second and third effort for Lasuela. You see, two, three. And final is doubled up 90 to 45. Barrett's win easily. And guess what, Mark? You're going to have to go right to commercials. We got a long piece coming up on the boys of Brawler. We'll be right back. On its own, money is not smart. It needs instruction, guidance, like the kind offered at First Tennessee. Our financial professionals help you straighten out retirement plans, get a loan, plan for college, and get your financial goals in order so your money has what it takes to wise up and work harder. And that's smart. First Tennessee, all things financial. Welcome back to Sports Vision. We had a race with the boys game. This game was physical and turned into be quite some action. Let's take a look at the Red Bank and Bradley. This is this game three of the evening. As you saw the first two, that's Blake Crabtree right there as he is going to get the basket in the foul. Now, Red Bank's only got one loss as Crabtree converts right there. So, a big night here for a great game. The Crabtree again. So, a nice feed from God right there. Bradley's own T.O., 4-3, Terrence Oglesby. Had a big night and a couple key baskets. That was from Cohog, Rhode Island, if you watch the uh, Family Guy. A basketball rarity right here. He got fouled on that, if you noticed, and it was a four-point play. So Crabtree right here with the hustle and two. Check this out. There's Crabtree. Going to just go ahead. He saw a little gap. He took it, rolled it in. 12-11 now. Red Bank. Crabtree again is going to come up with another basket right there to put him up. Oglesby again for three and fouled again. Look at this. The guy was just on fire. There it is. And boom, it's in. And he's sitting down. They got to go pick him up. As he got knocked over, he converts one more time. And watch Oglesby and Dodd do the alley oop. Here comes the alley. And there's the oop. How about the hat? Keith Dodd with the slam. Brought the crowd to their feet. 18 to 15. Bears lead Red Bank. Again, once defeated Red Bank now, leading that. Region over there, and at one of the top teams in the state, Crabtree off the pick and roll. Keith Dodd, second effort right here, as the Bears playing a pretty good game. In this game, a lot of a lot of trash talking, a lot of the TO stuff going on and so forth. So this game got a little bit out of hand in a lot of ways. Oglesby from the baseline, nothing but net clear back there. Mark Gibson from the same spot, gonna come up over here. They're gonna find him in the baseline over there, right where Oglesby was. He hits also. Oglesby off the glass this time. Terrence hits it. Talk about T.O. 38-32, Bradley trails at half. Now look at the B.C. dance team to give these girls some air time. They put together a little uh, little moves, little music, a little dance. Smack his girlfriend Ashley Cooley right there. There you left. go, see? There she is. There you go. She's got, she got game. She got game. She got moves. Yep. Take a look at it. She's been coming to the house. I've been showing her some of that stuff, what I used to do. She yeah. apparently used no, I'll show you the one that you did, except right. that you didn't have the little the little roll with it. It's one where you just... Oh, I got a roll. No, I'm going to... Yeah, you got a roll. <laughs> but I'm going to show you your move, except right. except you don't do what they do. You just lay there. Let me show you. All right. I'm going to show you All your right. move. Show me show me what I showed. Coming them. up. All right. Coming up. There she is, getting a lot of airtime for Ash. How about that? See, and I didn't even knowingly have that done. There's your move. Now, that is my Sitting move. there face That's down. That's the worm. Isn't that the worm? No, you don't worm. You just huh? lay face down. When I go down like that, the floor <laughs> drops out. 
Hey. So giving them a lot of air time, man. This little right there, I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they're walking with something on their back right there, like the old Popeye and Bluto carrying those big crates or something. But you know, and then they're gonna walk off. I'm serious, I, I choreographed. Look at the way, they, I mean, it looks like they've got, they're just, they're just walking, walking different. Dodd, a second effort for the first blood in the second half right there. That was Mark Gibson, I said, Dodd. Here comes Dodd with the second effort basket as Gibson opened up the first scoring and a half. Bears fall again, down by six right there, 42-36. Dodd, nice put back here as the Bears are going to try to rally. Oglesby, the drive. Terrence lays it in. Crabtree is going to add another basket. Right there, nice. Nice Blake, not Don. Nice Blake. speed. Oglesby, another three from off camera. I mean, the guy's not even in our camera shot over here. I mean, what's happening? Terrence, Oglesby, look at this, another three. Misses the three, excuse me, but Gibson's gonna be there, right there. Gibson's gonna grab the rebound, working hard underneath, gets the basket and the foul as Bradley making a comeback as they were down to start the half. He's gonna convert the three-point play. Crabtree, more nice work underneath. Mm -hmm. Like a pretty good game. Missed yeah. a few from the free throw line that he wishes he had back, but game getting rough and ugly. Look at this. Redback's going to get called for a foul over here. Right there. See, they shoved the guy down. He couldn't get the whole thing, but uh, now watch the fans. I mean, it, the, from that JV game and then on up, the fans were kind of at each other all the time. Bradley clapping right there because they know that they got the foul. And look at the red bag, faithful as we pan over that direction. He got there shaking his fist. He's going to stand up and shake his fist again. Denise was taping on that side because she goes to the side that Bradley's at, and she was getting people in her ear like he can't believe. So at 52 to 50, third quarter, Oglesby's going to hit one 52 to 51 now. He'll cut it right at third quarter because that was as time had run out there. Brett Matthews right there. Fourth quarter, Wes Adams gives the Bears their first lead since the first cue, 53-52. Keith Dodd's going to bank a turnaround. Jay right there. The Bears fall again down 61-55. Red Bank hitting threes from this I mean, out of nowhere. Ooh, look at go. that. Now, Dodd's, what a nice pass. Nice feed. Like. Dodd's going to get two more as he misses the first, but gets the second. Nice. Oglesby's drive right here. And look at Oglesby. And he's fouled, and he will convert again. Oglesby, 30 points on the night for the Bears. And he hits right there. 63-60, under four to play. This is going to get good. Right in front of you, Oglesby now, from your living room. Really, right there. He was in your living room. He escapes the D now. Crabtree from B.C. Tries, ties it up, and the fans right there are going to go nuts. Timeout, it's 65, 65, 65, and look at the crowd. I mean, the Red Bank crowd's over there thinking they're getting ripped on shots and everything else, and then they get a travel, so they get the ball back. Oh, you know the rest are paying for that right there. Red Bank, Red Bank back up, two with 119 to play. Went to, they took a timeout right there because Bradley made a run. Red Bank, though. We're going to show you the scoreboard here as the crowd's still going nuts early on. Red Bank's going to go up two again with uh, 119. I think we're going to show you that on the board as the fans are showing how big a game this was. There they're back up, so what, they have a free throw coming up and made it 68 to 65. BC missed two free throws. Looked good week for the Bears as Red Bank has the ball, but they foul number 22. This is where it gets interesting. Trailing 68 to 65. However, he's going to miss. The first shot, 23 seconds now. They're down, 68-65. This guy gets two free throws for Redback. He's going to miss both of them. And we're going to watch him. Both of them. The reason we're watching this is be, it will be apparent in a moment why we're showing the missed free throws. Because we're going to show you in a moment just why. And it's turned into a big factor in the game. He misses the first one. He misses the second one. Watch him get his own rebound, though, after he, after he misses. Okay, he's getting his own rebound right there. Now, he's going to be fouled over here on the side. Boop, Oglesby fouls him right there. Now, so who goes to the free throw line? Number 22 should go back, right? Here it is. I'm showing you it again. He gets fouled right over there. He should go to the free throw line. Now, watch what they read back. Now, watch 50. Talk to him right here. Look at him wave 22. 50 and 22 are going to communicate. And watch who walks to the line. All right, see, 22's back here. Now, 50's kind of looking at him. Uh, 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 uh. Now, 22's is, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. You're 10 times better free throw line than me. So they shoot the free throw with the wrong guy. Uh, and now, the ref catches it. Well, they don't catch it. They don't catch it until after it goes in right there. Now, that is purposeful, and that's a technical foul. And they let him do it. Now, the ref, well, they just now discovered it. See, now they're talking it over. And they took, I swear to God, they took 8 to 10 minutes. They just stood around trying to figure out what to do. The call is... The result is going to be a technical. The 22 gets his shots. 
but Bradley gets technical foul on the other hand. Let me ask you a question. Do you think, do you think the coach had anything to any part to play in No, the I think game? I think that they just tried to outsmart him. See, I'm just showing how long it even, took. Okay, even if they'd have won the game now after doing that and they got away with it, what kind of oh, they can't do anything after it's over. No, but what kind of a victory is that for you if you cheat? To win. But look at us wait. Come look at us. Look at everybody waiting. That's I'm Kent, angry. Kent Smith's daughter's angry, saying, "Let's play the game." Okay, so the result. Here we are. We're still at 68, 65. No, we're still at 68, 65. Result: 22 is going to get his free throws. Okay, he's going to make the first one to give the Red Bank a four-point lead. That's going to be 69, 65. He's going to make the second one 70, 65. But because they did that, T.O. is going to get to the line, and he gets two on the technical. And so he's got to make them both to get, keep them within three to get a chance, right? So T.O.'s going to come down, and he's going to make his two. All right, now it's a four-point lead, then a three-point lead, and Bradley also gets the ball on a technical. 20 seconds to go. 70 to 67, B.C.'s behind. Here's your final 20 seconds of regulation right here, and it is going to be B-Man over here in the corner, man in his face, T.O., Hits it. So it's tied up at 70. That was from Riverside, California. Look at the fans over there going nuts. Desperation by Redback. They're going to get down there, but get a lousy shot off right there in the corner. They're going to get a toss up right there. Time runs out. We're in overtime, and Bradley has all the mo going for him. And it looks like they're going to come back and t use that momentum. Go ahead and get in front. Look at the fans. Bradley's going to come out, and guess what? First basket. From three, T.O. puts some fire. He is put some in the game. The net's burning. When you put play the video put game. some three up, okay. And then we're going to get another two points right there underneath as Crabtree gets them, so they're up five. But the Bears right here, Crabtree. I mean, that's Dodd again. Gets one and the foul. I always like it when a radio just. Pops that's off. right. Free throw is going to go in right here after a victory lap. If we listen to a little Metallica in the background. 78 <laughs> 74. We really wanted to at this point. Bears lead two minutes left in the, in the, in the 79 78 after free throw, 79 78. But this steal right here was huge. Teal tried to force it in right there, and they get the steal. They go up 80 to 79. And in the final seconds, they get some threes off this brother. Now they get a three, and they're back in another overtime, and they get. Three. Well, here's the steal first to put him up by three. His T.O. missed the shot to put him ahead. Now, here's the three. That desperation. We're in the last few seconds. No, nope, no good. So they what? They pass it back out. Dodd hits Crabtree. He doesn't want to take it. Gives it to the hot man. Doesn't make it. Back over here. Crabtree. One final toss. No good. The Bears fall. Now watch the end of this. Red Bank team comes over and starts uh, pulling their jerseys up and getting into their face. I guess the East Winter scoreboard right there. But taunting the Bradley crowd, and you'll see the crowd kind of see they're over there now, kind of in the middle, kind of getting a lot of taunting going on about pulling that game out. Crowd had not done, done anything. Out, but why and, and look, that bothers me, the cheating part. And they're like wanting, wanting to show uh, Come on. show their jersey That's number. Very bad sportsmanship. And they were very lucky to win. And then you saw in the JV game, the push you down. So right. not too good a sportsmanship by Red Bank. But hey, they won fair and square, even though they tried not to win yeah. fair and square. Uh -huh. We're going to have to go here in just a minute. But Bradley is uh, is... Uh, defeated, but uh, they know they can beat that team, and that's a team they'll, that, it, they'll get them again. That's a district favorite, you'd have to say at this point. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week on Sports Vision here. We have got uh, 15 seconds to burn. We're going to show you the Sports Vision graphic. Oh, of course. We're out of here. See ya.